Hey guys, Teacher Holly here with a simple tip for you to make your time in the online ESL classroom more efficient. Here's the deal. You and I both know when you are teaching in that online classroom, you have to keep track of a lot of things. You're handling props, you're looking at the slide, you're listening to the student, you're trying to make corrections, you're keeping track of that time, you're doing, and you're thinking, did I give the kids stars? What did I do? It's a lot, it's a lot. And somehow in the middle of all of that, you're supposed to take notes notes. That's insanely crazy. Now, I know some teachers who they have pretty elaborate systems. They have Excel spreadsheets that they fill out or they have a tablet over here that they work on. I'm not that cool. I'm totally old school and simple. So here's what I do. Voila, drum roll, please. A notebook, a spiral notebook. Here's what I have. I have a notebook, lovely spiral bound and a marker where I draw lines and then I write my details of each class. Each class gets its own little section and in each of those sections I write down things like the date, the time of the class, name of the student, age of the student, occasionally the lesson title or information and then I take that notebook wah, 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 and I drop it right here beside my laptop and with my right hand while I am listening intently and listening and giving the student my focus over here, my right hand is doing some work on the notebook, writing down notes. Usually I'm generally writing down things that they're struggling with and that's twofold. Number one, in the feedback later after the class, the class evaluation or the feedback, what I need to do is point out specifically where the student needs to work parents like that the learning partners like that so write down very specific things don't just say they need to work on pronunciation write down the specific words or phrases they struggled with secondly when I see that student in my portal again and I look at their name I can go oh look it's Bao Bao and I can flip through my notebook and realize the last three times I taught Bao Bao I used the fake money for the reward system it's time to switch it up. So I list those things in there. I write down the things they're struggling with, one or two things that they're doing well, also to add in the feedback. And then that's it. I have this lovely handwritten record of the class. One other thing you might want to consider adding is if you have an IT issue in your class. Now, of course, you know that you need to take screenshots while it happens. And if you have to contact support, do that. But it's also really helpful to jot down what happened even during the class or immediately afterward just for your own record so if it ever comes up again you can look back and go yeah I remember that little class with Lucas that did happen and this is how I handled it just wise to have a record so true true disclosure day one lovely notes clean articulate wait what other good words can I say about myself all those things Here's this morning's many pages, many students later. <laughs> ah, clearly, clean, lovely, elaborate, simple, messy, yucky, but still got the point. Like for instance, for um, Cherry, a student I had this morning, I wrote the phrase, I live with. She struggled with that. She could not get that word live. She kept saying, I live -a with. And so I wrote that down, I live with. That way I was able to put that specifically in the feedback. Cherry is also one of my regulars, so when I see her again, I will know to keep listening for that particular phrase and that particular mistake. And if it's in the lesson, we'll cover it. If it's not, I might add it in there. If we have time at the end of the lesson, just to double check to make sure she's getting that. And I also note the time that I submitted the feedback just so I can check it off that I remembered to do the feedback in time. So that's it. That's the reality of it. At the beginning, it was awesome. Now they're much simpler, but the point is I'm still taking those notes, getting them in there, getting that information down, and I'm so glad that I do. Now, if you have a better way of doing it or a way that works for you, drop it in the comments. I'd love to learn from you. And if you are also considering starting your ESL online teaching job and you're going to apply to either GoGo Kid or VIP Kid, I would love to help you. If you use my referral code down below, it's not just you just using my number. It's truly, I am going to step into and help you through this process. 
I will call you, we'll email, we'll set up a video chat. I would really, really like to help you answer your questions. I'd like to help you prep for your interview. You can run ideas by me. We can talk all sorts of things. I can help you do this well, efficiently, and frugally. Love those three things. So please use my referral code. I'd love to help you out. In the meantime, use a notebook. It's easy. It's simple. It gets the job done and it gives you peace of mind. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Happy teaching.